morning y'all rvp aka ron and barber here listen uh this is my second video i'm gonna i'm gonna review this thing here last week i reviewed this thing here this wall detailer cordless thing um yeah if y'all saw the video real quick i didn't like it out of the box at all it's too light it's too little felt like a toy didn't cut very well i played with it i got to be where where, where it will cut pretty good I'm satisfied, gets the job done. Okay, done with this. So since I wasn't crazy about that, I got this. Now, out of the box, let me give you, let me give you the pros and cons. The cons was, it wasn't a hitter. It didn't hit cut uh, very well. It did okay, but not very well. I played with it and got the blade up. It's not zero gap, but it's better. Um, but that's not a big deal because, quite honest, I could buy this and it won't be cut great out of the box either. This one does, but you know, often you have to play with them nowadays. Nothing is like it was back in the day. I've been cutting 35 years. You see, you buy a clipper out of the box, it cut amazing. It's not that way anymore. So this hair thing, out of the box, it didn't cut great. Okay, that's the first con. Here's the other con I have with it. This is this. Hear that? That's power. That's power. That's not power. That's not power. There's a difference. Now, will it get the job done? Yes. Is it this? No. Not when it comes to power. Now, I'm, there's probably a way you can increase the power. I'm gonna look at some videos, uh, see if I can find uh, how you do it. If I can increase the power, boom, I'm in love with it. Okay, here's a pro. When I got that wall detailer, I wasn't happy. Like I said, it felt like a little toy. It felt like something, you know, you work in your house with. You know, something you shave yourself with. This is a clipper. Feels like the original. Feels good in your hand. Weighs a little bit more. Not quite what the cord one weighs, but it weighs a little bit more than that wall detailer. You know what I mean? I feel like I got some substantial in my hand. You know what I mean? I don't understand these guys on YouTube saying how, Oh, that was so heavy. <laughs> Go to the gym. You know, we'll start working out. This thing here, I like I like it, how it feels in my hand. It feels just like the original. They're about the same size. You know, about the same size. So I'm loving it. I think this is just a little bit longer. Just slightly longer. But that's good. Now, once I played with it, I got into the line that's cutting. One of my customers walked past. You know, up the street. I played with it. Make it cut a little. Make it made it cut a little bit better i'm really loving this thing this is definitely going to stay in the arsenal it's going to stay in rotation um here's the thing okay wait, before i get to that well here's the thing if it's still working in a year or two then i'm really really happy with it one thing about that andis master with that i mean the andis uh outline with that cord i know unless i drop it it's going to work in the morning I'm not worried about coming here and go, oh, my clipper's not working. Let's see how long this thing lasts. If I'm, if in two years from now, I'm still working with this bad boy, then I'm crazy happy, completely taking over. So that's what we're gonna see. If this can last like the original. Cause I'm a original, listen, I'm, I'm a uh, 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 Osta 76, an uh, Andes Master and, and an Andes T outliner kind of guy. For 35 years, that's what I've been cutting with. So I'm trying this new stuff out. I don't want to be a dinosaur. So here's the next thing in my arsenal. It will stay in rotation as of now. I'm loving it. If I can figure out how to bump up this power, I'm really going to be in love with it. So Andis people, if you're listening, you know, I don't, I know you got a little hesitation. I don't care about that. But I want a little bit more power out of this thing. So if y'all can do that, I'd muchly appreciate it. Most of them. I don't know if that's Anyway, I'd appreciate it. So, you know, look on to that. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this bad boy an 8, 8.5. Eight not going to give it a 10 because of the power. It's just not uh, strong and out of the box. It was not a hitter. Of course, neither of those. But I'm going to give it a, at least an 8 out of 10. You know what I mean? If you get it, you won't be upset. Now, if you're a new barber, you ain't got no money, 
and you have this. Work with this. What is it? 65 bucks. This was 100 and what do I pay for this? 140. Yeah. You don't make no much much money. Use this. Don't waste your money on this. But if you got it like that, buy it. You know what I mean? I'm happy with it. I'm sure other master barbers are happy with it. You know what I mean? So try it. And like, again, you're getting this from a guy who's been in the business. Hey, go ahead with that yelling. He's gonna stand in front of my shop and be yelling for somebody right in the middle of my video. Anyway, talking about a guy with 35 years experience. I'm not some Johnny come lately. I didn't start cutting last week. You know what I mean? I've, I had my, got my license in 1985 or something like that. I like this. All right? Eight out of 10, eight and a half out of 10, you won't be upset. Now, that's done. Get it. Here's my next review. <laughs> Wait for this one. You're going to like this review. All right? Y'all have a good day. RVP, a.k.a. Ron the Barber. I'm out, y'all. Coming from Mitchell's Barbershop in Philly. Y'all be safe. Peace.